Uh, this is the second part of my uh, three part because there's this Vita, the PS3, and the PlayStation 4 of the Sony TGS uh, conference, pre TGS conference uh, breakdown. Uh, uh, this one is, I'm doing a little more explaining this one because this part is uh, really short. They didn't really talk that much about the PlayStation uh, 3. They just uh, mentioned some new games that are coming out. Uh, just talking about some uh, Gran Turismo 6 stuff, really. And they just mentioned some the games that are coming out and talking about how they have such a high market share in Japan, which is really not that shocking. They have about 71% market share or something. So anyways, uh, I will uh, may talk a little bit. There really wasn't that much to uh, mention for the uh, PlayStation uh, uh, 3, really. The main focus was the Vita and the PS4, which is nice. I mean, PS3 is a big bag of big catalog of games so it's nicely focused a little more on the ps4 which is coming out soon and which i'll do a video on next and it's the longest part it's about double the length of the vita so it's about, was about an hour long i believe and the video part was about like 30 40 minutes and the uh pleasing three part is about not even 15 minutes barely end of this year i'll be introducing only some of them Um, after that scissor reel, uh, they give it over to <coughs> the head of Polyphony Digital to talk about uh, Gran Turismo 6. Uh, they talk about their new simulation engine is um, ready for the next gen, they say, and it's their biggest change to their system, which I mean, sounds like they're sort of future-proofing their uh, simulation engine so they can bring another Gran Turismo next. Um, I believe they said something about having uh, 1,200 cars having inside look, but I could have been confused. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I think they said something about having 1,200 cars having inside looks. Uh, they also talk about how the online is going to be uh, 
<clears throat> improved in um uh, many ways. They wanted to make it with an easier interface and uh, better access. Trismo 6 online experience from your PlayStation 3, your smartphone, your tablet, your PC. Uh, they didn't mention PlayStation Vita, but probably PlayStation Vita also. But the point is you can be always connected to your Gran Turismo uh, 6 online experience. They didn't go into details on so what you can do really. And <clears throat> they also mentioned something called the um, Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, Vision Gran Turismo is supposed to be a celebration for 15 years of Gran uh, Turismo. People can like develop cars for Gran Turismo, the game, and they have like 22 car manufacturers involved in the process. Is what, from I understood, is that these car manufacturers sort of help make these cars like their cars, but you know, also they're only in the game uh, to sort of credit, you know, give like realism and credit to the cars that are in game that are fan made. Um, there's also a uh, trailer that I'll let you guys uh, watch, uh, not all of it, but like little select parts of it that was interesting. While I'm not necessarily like a car fanatic or I don't really like racing games unless it's like Mario Kart, I'm not one of those realistic racing game guys, but I can see the appeal of it. I'm not, you know, dissing Gran Turismo in any way, shape, or form, but um, anyways, uh, the graphics is really good, especially if what we're being shown is actual in-game uh, in -game graphics, especially for a PS3 game. It's uh, pretty surprising. Uh, you know, kind of sort of wonders how much they're going to push it for uh, Gran Turismo 7 on the PS4 or whatever. A special edition anniversary, 15th anniversary edition of a Gran Turismo 6 in Japan. Also, I believe there's one in America. You can get that one for a uh, uh, games or whatever. For I think it's a free extra bonus. But anyways, it's uh, a 70, 79, a uh, 7,980 yen or $80 and 23 uh, cents. And there's also going to be a PlayStation 3 bundle for 25,980 yen, or that is about. Two hundred sixty-one dollars and twenty cents. It comes with a two hundred fifty gigabyte uh, PS3, and it comes with the game and the controller. Um, the special edition also comes with some special uh, cars in it, extra like cars uh, in it. I think maybe a couple tracks also, but I think the main emphasis is that it comes with a bunch of extra cars in it. And after the Grand Turismo Six stuff, that's really it. They just move on from that to the PS4. So you basically get a sizzle trailer and a bunch of Grand Turismo Six info, and uh, that's it really.